I found another interesting piece. This is a, a stew pot, a cauldron, a um, uh, I don't know what you would call it. This is a larger version of a scotch bowl. This is a this is a a scotch bowl. It's meant to to set fireside and it's got a rounded bottom and smooth sides. It's uh it's built so that any rounded stirring implement, spoon, ladle, whatever you use, um, it can it can fit in here. There's no hidden corners that uh, um, that can uh, you know collect dry ingredients and uh, and then burn. So as you stir it, everything gets stirred. It's the same thing that's that's true in here. This one is um, about ten. Uh, it's about ten and a half inches across, and inside, inside at the at the bottom, at the lowest point, to the top lip, is um, right about nine inches. This is, um, it's got a bail handle. And it's also got the spider feet. So you could set this on a hearth with, uh, with coals underneath of it and do your, um, um, do your cooking the way you would, um, with any other cast iron pan. This has got um, this has got some discoloration here. Uh, I went through. I washed. I washed the interior um, with SOS pads and uh, got and got this as clean as possible to um, just to see what I have. This is this this pan. If you see this feature right here, this is a gate marked pan, which uh, means that it was uh, manufactured generally uh, before 1900, the year 1900. It was just like uh, it's just like any other piece of technology. It takes. Uh, Takes some com companies longer to adopt the new technology than it did others. So um, there's maybe 10 or 15 years after 1900 before all of the foundries uh, picked it up and used it. This has got the same the same features. It's really not showing up on the camera. There's uh, there's inclusions in the casting. Um, if you've ever poured, um, if you've ever poured concrete and stopped in the middle of the pour and then came back uh, before the concrete was set up and poured some more, you'll recognize you'll recognize these lines. They're, it's just a, it's an inclusion, a wrinkle kind of feature. Um, but it's hard to show on the camera. You can sort of see the line there. If I get the camera in where I need to take the picture, then it blocks the light. They, uh, They show, they show on the inside, but they don't show on the outside. But the the thing that I really wanted to show um, 
right now I picked up that ruler and I messed up my messed up my demonstration put this box over here to keep this from rolling around a little bit okay right here in my in the first electrolysis I'm trying to I'm trying to arrange pieces on a ruler while I'm while I'm talking and filming switch hands on the camera that may that'll work okay what I have on the ruler is a scale of cast iron and that came out of that came out of that uh, that rusty looking triangle piece that's right there I, I had this um, I had this pot in the electrolysis tank and um, I had it at low amperage like I like I always do but uh, it still it still blew even at two amps it still blew a chunk out of the side and um, that's really that's really unusual but uh, being as I had an example of it, I figured I'd show it to you. Uh, that isn't a piece of rust. That's an actual piece of con uh, cast iron. It's really thin, and uh, they're just it just happened to uh, to come out that way, and it's it came out in a way that I can fix it, um, and it's not gonna it's not gonna be the the doom of this pan. But um, I still wanted to show it. So now I have uh, uh, this discoloration on the outside. That's just, um, it's basically just uh, um, dirty water that, uh, that run down the side. That's really not, it's, it's really, it looks m much more dramatic than what it really is. So now I've got a period. Uh, it's earlier than 1900. It's got a very thin sidewall, but it's a big pot. So uh, um, I scaled. I scaled this one. This weighs uh, three pounds, and. Um, Call it three and a half pounds, and this this one over here scales at uh, eight pounds and two ounces. So it's really not it's really not a backpacking item, but um, it would work really good um, hung hung from a tripod or uh, beside a fireplace somewhere. But I wanted to show that because it's a really good example of uh, uh, it's a good example of an old pot and it's a, and it's also an example of uh, uh, problems that you can you can you can find with electrolysis so there we go